What's going on? How are you guys doing today? Today's a beautiful day. We are in another um, talk um, with me, your favorite guy. I know, right? I know I'm your favorite guy. I know. Anyway, so let's get straight into it, right? So we've been doing a little series on moving day. So uh, last we talked about we talked about the what ifs. We talked about uh, location. We talked about the list. Now we're gonna go into the next part, right? Um, because everybody always wants the wants a little uh, little advice um, on this part, you know. For, so when you're moving, right? One thing you always want to uh, to look into is the job market, right? And you want to find out how if the job market is really booming, if it's really good. Uh, will you find a job when you get out there? Uh, and I'll tell you, uh, this is that you can, it's, it's, it's good to search beforehand before you come out. It's good to, uh, check what the job market is before you come out, uh, before you move out here. Um, once again, as I said before in the last video, uh, the list part is that don't always listen to what people say when they, people, when people talk about the job market is booming, don't always believe that. You got to really see for yourself exactly what jobs are booming so that when you get out here, you know what to apply for. Or even before you get out here, uh, you can apply for something. I had a friend who moved out uh, to Orlando and before she moved out, she actually uh, was flying back and forth for interviews. Uh, she lived in New York. She went out to Orlando and uh, she, um, well, she, she moved. Well, before she moved, she was flying back and forth, back and forth. Um, for job interviews, for me, I didn't want to do that because for me, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to be paying what two hundred dollars for a flight each time. Each time I'm going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I, I'm not doing that. So I, so that's why I'm giving y'all the suggestion is if you want to apply first. I mean, uh, yeah, apply to the job first before you move out here and really see uh, whether what job is really going to apply to you or whether or what job is going to help you out um, in that in the in the future, you know, because because the fact of the matter is, is that if you um, if you're in a certain field, you want to know if uh, will your, will your job transfer? Can 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 any job transfer, or is it just the experience that's going to be transferring? Like you, and you want to know, um, is the pay good? So are they going to pay you what you're, what you have right now in the state that you are, or, or are they going to pay you lower because the living cost is lower because of this is lower, that's lower. So you really want to figure out all of that before you actually um. Oh, something's in my eyes. Sorry about that. So you want to figure all of that before you actually move out. And like I said, for me, I didn't. I didn't do that. For me, I'm just like, you know what? I pack my stuff. Um, I get my job two weeks notice. Said, yo, I'm out, man. That's it. I'm out. And I moved out, man. I moved. I moved out. Um, packed up my stuff. Actually, I did go for an interview one time. Um, it was a week. After my birthday, because the week of my birthday, I was in Pittsburgh. So the week after that, I went out to um, to Fort. Well, I went out to North Richland Hills um, area in Texas, and then I did the interview for that job. Um, but of course, I didn't make it. So whatever. Um, well, of course, I didn't get the job, obviously. But so so that so that that's basically my advice to you. It was just it's just. Uh, um, apply first if you want to apply first or have or have enough savings in your bank account that you can um last for about six months or so you know because it may take you six months to find a job it may even take you longer but it may take you six months and the reason why i just say six months because i don't really think that anybody has a year of savings because if you have a year of savings just move. Just move. Don't matter what it is. Just move. You got a year of savings in your bank account right now. Just move. Like, come on. You got the money. Why not? Let's go. But seriously, though, I would say about plan about six months of money aside 
so that when you come out here and if you can't find a job uh, so easy, um, you can apply to something else and uh, just take whatever that job is for now until you move into what you want to do, until you move into the career that you want to go, until you move into the area that you want to go in. That's what I would tell you. You know, that's my advice. I didn't do it like that, but I'm giving y'all advice. Um, so that's basically um, what I what I would tell you is for the job for the job the job market part. Um, always and always just keep on looking to see what uh, um, googling the areas that you want to live in, just to see what areas um, are are the job market booming. You know. Um, if you want to do television, L.A., Atlanta, you know, if, uh, if you're about music, Austin. Uh, so, if you're all about cowboys and whatever, Fort Worth. So, it really it really depends on what you want. I mean, if you want cornfields, Ohio, Utah. So, but that's all I got for you guys. Uh, Perkins Talks, job market, job, whatever, moving day, let's go, let's go. We got this. I'll see y'all next time. Be great, do great. God is the greatest. Be blessed, less stress. Let's go out and do it, all right? Take care.